So my name is Phil Jamison, and I have lived in Asheville since 1980. I've been at Warren Wilson College for 25 years. I teach music as well as perform, and we have a traditional music program there. So I, I teach kids how to play fiddle and banjo and, and dance and about the history of the music. Um, I, lo I love doing that, but I, I love the mix with performing. So sometimes I, you know, I still do go out and perform, and uh, sometimes I teach summer workshops at other places. So uh, the banjo, is, as you may or may not know, um, is descended from a West African instrument. So the, uh, um, in, in West Africa, there are a number of instruments that are, look kind of like banjos. On the neck, there's one string that ends partway up the neck that you use to play. And there's instruments in West Africa still today that are like that. So the idea for the banjo came with enslaved people from Africa when they came to the New World and they created these instruments. And it really wasn't until about the mid-1800s that European Americans picked up on this instrument. I'd say when you talk about resilience um, in you know, the, this kind of music, it, it is music that endures. It's not pop music that comes and goes. You, know, you can hear the latest um, pop song, however you list, happen to listen to music these days, uh, whether it's uh, some kind of pop or country or rock or rap or whatever. And what's popular one day or one week or one year, the next day or week or year, the music industry has cranked out something new to sell, sell to you that everybody is all hot about. So mu the music and dance of the Appalachian region, it is resilient uh, in itself, but I think it also expresses the resilience of the region. And it, so the, the traditional music that I play, it, it sticks around because it's not copyrighted. You know, you don't, you don't make that kind of money off of it. Uh, you play it for enjoyment. And yes, when you perform it, it's still fun to perform. But even if there wasn't an audience there, I would still be playing this music. So it's very different than pop music that you might listen to in other places. And, and so it does, you know, I'd say it is resilient. It, it, it sticks around. And something I find really amazing is like when I play uh, the banjo or the fiddle, um, there are certain dance tunes and songs and things that I know. And if I had a time machine and go back 200 years, I could meet people who knew the exact same stuff. We could sit down and play music together, which is pretty incredible when you think about it.